My name is Mary Ellen Conley, and I live in York, South Carolina, and I own a business property in Sharon, South Carolina, which is a small town about six miles east of the proposed leaf plant on 99 Island. I'm opposed to this facility. I have a long history uh, of involvement with the nuclear power industry. I testified first at the Catawba, Catawba plant that's on the Catawba River, and I haven't changed my opinions one bit over the years. The Broad River does not belong to Duke Power or any other company or any other entity. It belongs to the people of this area. It belongs to the people of the United States. The flow of the river has already been greatly stressed due to permits already given to many industries and municipalities along its journey from the mountains to the sea. The oxygen content of the water is already greatly reduced and will be further degraded by the emission of hot or warm water by this facility. The Broad River, as, it suggests, as its name suggests, is a broad but not a deep river. In times of drought, which we have had in recent years, and low rainfall, as we continue to endure with no end in sight, you can often see rocks from the river bottom protruding <coughs> above the water level. Anyone who actually, anyone could probably walk across the river um, from rock to rock in the dry summer months. York County has been for years in a heated and expensive battle with North Carolina over water rights to the Catawba River on the eastern boundary of York County. It is only a matter of time that we will have to go to the Broad on the western boundary of our county as a water supply. If there is no water, or if the water is severely degraded, where will our water supply come from? There is a hydroelectric plant in Lockhart, just south of the proposed, proposed site. This plant will be impacted by the loss of water supply to their generators. There can be no greener en energy than hydroelectric, yet we jeopardize the future of this existing plant. It is my understanding that Duke Energy intends to buy and dismantle this plant. South Carolina is in one of the most active earthquake zones in the nation, and I have a USGS map showing and I'll give a, leave a copy of this, where the earthquakes have occurred in the United States in the last 200 or so years. Oddly enough, these same areas of South Carolina are where many of the nuclear plants are located. <laughs> have we learned nothing from Fukushima? Just the spent fuel rod store that these facilities pose risk. With no storage facility and none in sight, we continue to play Russian roulette with our future and the future of generations to come. The Southeast is blessed with an abundance of sunny days and could more easily than, than much of the nation use this resource to develop solar energy. We can limit the amount of energy needed by sensible energy use retrofitting older energy inefficient buildings and homes along with many other energy saving tactics. We do not need these expensive and dangerous facilities. As many Germans have said, we can, I quote, we cannot control these facilities and mankind cannot make them safe. Germany, who is home to some of the best engineers in the world and one of the best economies in the world, for those who think that this is such an economic boom, has decided to cease using nuclear power. According to German sources, they will be completely energy self-sufficient within 10 years. I think it's interesting to note that Mr. Gossett said that we are losing our competitive edge. I would like for him to tell that to the German citizens and, and tell them that they need to have some more nuclear power. He also said that he worked with and regulated Duke, which is another problem with these facilities. Many of the people leave Duke Power and regulate Duke Power. It's hard to stand back and say that you're doing something wrong when you're a former employee and an insider with the company itself. Last, but no means the least, we have lost any confidence that we may have 
we may have had in the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. I cite just a few of the reasons why. A. After the Browns Ferry Fire, new regulations were put into place. As of today, 30 years later, 47 nuclear plants are not in compliance with these regs, including Browns Ferry. B, Indian Point, New York, is built on an earthquake fault with 17 million people within 50 miles of this plant. C, the North Anna plant was determined to be seismic, seismically under design. The North NRC asked for upgrades, but did not require them. The owners did not comply. I just picked up, and this is off my written comments, the radioactive waste brochure that was outside. And under the NRC responsibilities, it says the NRC is responsible for licensing and regulating their seed and possession of high-level waste including spent fuel as well as reprocessing waste. At privately owned facilities, it goes on, but basically it says that they're going to take care, make sure that that waste is taken care of. In 1982, I believe it was, the act was passed in Congress to have a nuclear regulatory site, or a DOE site, excuse me, that would take this waste. As of today, it had 30 years later, it still has not been built, and yet we are expected to sit back and say, we trust you. We trust you to do it right. We trust you to listen to our complaints. We trust you to listen to our concerns, and we have lost that feeling that you do just that. We know that the push for energy in this country is great, and we know that safety should be your first concern, not jobs, not the energy that is expended or may be expended in the future that can be brought in from other sources, but you need to look at what needs to be done for the people of this area, and we're concerned about this. I also have, on the earthquake thing, there has been an earthquake, uh, it was January the 9th of 2012, it was located near, near Charleston at that point. But this is the map. It shows the clusters of the earthquakes. And I don't know. This is a list uh, from the USGS of the earthquake history of this area. There's one in Pendleton. There's been one in Pendleton, Pickens, all over. There's, there's, this is a dangerous plant, and we need it to stop now. Thank you.